The F-16 is one of America's premier fighters used by the Air Force in operations from Desert Storm to Libya. But there's never been a fighting Falcon like this one. David Martin has the pictures. X-ray tango radio check. A pilot runs through his pre-flight checks on an F-16 jet fighter, then climbs out. The canopy comes down and the F-16 takes off without it. It happened last week at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida, and although unmanned aircraft are everywhere these days, it still makes you do a double take. The F-16 is being flown by remote control from a ground station and is able to perform all the maneuvers it could if a pilot were in the cockpit. Climb to 40,000 feet, fly faster than the speed of sound, and turn so sharply the G-forces could make you black out. No, this is not a faster, more agile hunter-killer drone. It's a faster, more agile target for pilots to train against. The Air Force has been doing this for decades. But the current model target, a remotely piloted version of the Vietnam-era F-4, just doesn't have the moves of a modern fighter aircraft. Now pilots will start going up against the leaner, meaner F-16 in dogfights, and occasionally even shoot one down which is only sort of okay with Boeing test pilot Jason Clements. I love the F-16 and, and brag about it a lot, and now to, to get something ready to take off on its own so somebody else can shoot it down makes it, uh, uh, makes it a little bittersweet uh, in my eyes. So far, Boeing has modified six F-16s, but more will be brought out of retirement to give their lives for their country. Scott? David Martin at the Pentagon, which is next to National Airport. David, thank you very much.